Stavros Dimas, thank you very much for joining. Thank us. you very much for asking me to be here. What's going on? Is there going to be a deal? Uh, I believe that uh, there's going to be a deal. Uh, there is. Uh, I have no doubts that uh, the 110 world leaders that are coming to Copenhagen will not dare go back to their home countries without a deal which will be according to what science is telling us uh, that it is necessary. They have to give explanations and uh, uh, to justify why they did not contribute to having a deal. Well, let me, you know, uh, you and I both know that uh, th there very well may be some kind of political deal because politicians don't like to show up and, and not accomplish things. So that's certainly the case, that there could be something. But whatever they agree, is it, it's not what we were expecting, right? This was originally about getting a treaty. Definitely, and this is our objective. What we expect here in Copenhagen is to have a, a binding politically uh, agreement or outcome or whatever we call it which then uh, will be elaborated in legal terms and we shall have uh, a legally binding agreement at the end, uh, hopefully within 2010 and uh, uh, if you ask me, within the three to six uh, first months of uh, 2010. You know that the EU carbon market fell today for the first time in four days. The market isn't convinced that there's going to be a very compelling deal out of here. Uh, I hope that uh, they will uh, uh, assess uh, the situation differently when they see the, the results of uh, uh, Copenhagen. Let's talk about the issues. One is exactly how uh, deep the cuts are. What progress needs to be made in terms of emissions cuts, pledges from countries? The European Union uh, has uh, repeatedly said that we need at least 30 percent reductions from uh, the developed countries as a group. And uh, right now we are at uh, uh, about 18 percent reduction. So we That's are right. far away from what science is telling us. So we have this remaining hours uh, for uh, the politicians who are taking over from today and from the world leaders that are coming uh, from tomorrow uh, to uh, improve their offers, uh, what they have on the table regarding uh, the reductions. Let, let's talk about the EU's pledge. Uh, originally it was 20 percent uh, cut in emissions by 2020. Is that still on the table? Definitely, but uh, what we have committed to is 30 percent, of course, provided that other countries, uh, uh, developed countries, uh, will uh, have comparable uh, reductions. How, how confident are you that that's going to happen? Uh, uh, I think uh, there's great uh, possibility that this will happen, not only because we see what other countries are doing, uh, because I personally have strong beliefs that uh, if we do it, this will be good for uh, the European Union and for our economies, because it will be a very good incentive for eco-innovation and uh, going to a low-carbon a future which is inevitable. So the earlier we do uh, these uh, cuts, the better for our economies and we shall get the first ad mover advantage in uh, many industries. Uh, and uh, this is the reason that I believe that we can go more comfortably now to 30 percent, especially after the economic recession, which has made it has made easier and cheaper to go to 30 percent than previously. Let's talk about the cost of carbon. Ultimately, that's what industry is concerned about. Uh, the cost of carbon in the European Union is about $13 a ton. Most people say that's way too low to ra actually affect change. Uh, how can you change that? How can this you is the reason that I'm arguing that for the European Union, irrespective, irrespective of what other countries are doing, especially the United States, which yeah. is another developed country which does not have very ambitious targets. But for, for us, it would be good because carbon uh, allowances of uh, emissions right now are very low. Yep. And they do not provide the incentive that is needed uh, in order to move to, uh, to, to, to the green future. That, uh, we only we got want. about 20 seconds, sir. Um, price is $13 now. What should the price be to really save the planet, so to speak? Uh, I cannot say this, but uh, when uh, we calculated uh, uh, our reductions uh, and what is needed, actually, we calculated uh, with a price of 30 euros. But uh, this does not mean <laughs> this is what the, was the price that we calculated 
uh, when we made All our right. studies. Thank you very much, sir. That Thank was Stavros Simos, obviously the European Union Commissioner for the Environment and Climate Change, a confident man, but as you heard him there very carefully choosing his words. Back to